I admit, I had my doubts about you. But you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Why do you care so much what happens to the Minutemen? When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. When I turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones. Really believed in the old-time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place. If things were so great back then, how did it all fall apart so fast? I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention to. You know, the politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups. I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it, keep everyone more or less on the same team. But after he was killed, it all came out in the open. I couldn't believe it at first. These guys were supposed to be Minutemen. They were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything, I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. Why are you telling me all of this? I guess I'm just trying to say thank you, if that makes any sense. Thank you for being different than most everyone else I've run across. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Anything else? No, that was it. We'd probably better get back to it. Hey. Just po Yeah? Just curious what you're thinking. Don't know if I believe all those boogeyman stories about the Institute. It all sounds like paranoia to me. What are you thinking about? The Commonwealth's a lot bigger than I realized. That's all for now. No problem. <clears throat> Please, you've got to help me. Don't worry. I'm here to rescue you. Oh my god, thank you. Let's go. Hey there. Easy living, this ain't. <laughs> <laughs> 